Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back. Good fellow Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for showing love. And um, Shakira Stevenson calls out Javante Tank Davis. Says that he ain't got that much longer to be at 126 pounds. He's pretty big for the division and wants to move up and uh, try, you know, test himself versus the best at 130. And he identifies um, Javante Tank Davis as top dog at 130. Appreciate everybody for coming back on the platform. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. But, um, yeah, you know, he got a fight versus Christopher Diaz this weekend. A former 130-pound WBO a title challenger lost to Ito. And um, should be a really good fight. We did a prediction. Prediction. I'll link in the description if you haven't seen it. But, um, but yeah, he's I, hopefully he's not looking past Diaz. Diaz is a solid competitor, a guy that's coming down from 30-26 to have a second fight at, a, at featherweight, um, coming down from super featherweight. But, you know, obviously a lot of these young dudes are ambitious. Um, they're ambitious. You know, from Jaron Ennis, you know, saying, you know, calling out all the champions at 147, Tia Lopez, um, Hutton, Lomachenko, um, you know, all, all the young guys are very, very ambitious. Um, and this is what we need in the sport of boxing. We wish, that, you know, these dudes, you know, these uh, ch- champions or contenders had the same ambitions as Shakir Stevenson, but and other young guys, but, you know, him and Tank sparred before. He didn't tear down Tank. He said Tank is a good fighter. He felt that Tank is a better boxer than he is puncher, and that's saying a lot because people know Tank as a puncher, but he says that's attributed to Tank's accuracy and boxing skills to be able to place those punches and get those guys out of there. Now, Stevenson does have a significant height advantage on Javante Tank Davis. I think it's at least three inches, and he's probably going to have a length, of an arm length advantage on uh, Javante as well, and I think he, you know, with more polish when as he polishes up and hopefully gets past Diaz and fights some other dudes, you know, he's probably on a fast track, you know, to kind of have more experience and be more active than Tank if he if top rank keep him active, and he got the arm advantage and the defense and the boxing ability to to handle Tank, but for Javante Tank Davis, who's a known certified puncher, at what is he, 24, 25 years old, and uh, Stevenson be 22 at the end of June, June 28th. Um, all it takes is one. He's got eight ounce gloves on. It's not the, it's not in the spar. It's not in the gym. It's with Lopez, Devin Haney, you know, B. Hop, Mick Conley, and, and and the rest of these dudes. You know, Richardson Hitchens. This is what they got to understand. This ain't this ain't in the gym. You know, this is eight ounce gloves, bad intentions. You know, this ain't. You know, we working on this. This is a real fight. And if Javante Tank Davis clip you, you may not get back up. And, and that's for real. That's for real. So he can't go in there and play with him. Yes, he got some physical attributes and he got some length and some height. He could be able to outbox Tank, you know, with his height, height and length. But Tank is fast and physical. But you know what? Shakir Stevenson, if he could put that, what happened in Miami behind him, and he living a clean lifestyle, he ain't drinking, he ain't smoking, he's standing in shape in between fights. He didn't have a major advantage over Javante Tank Davis. And his activity rate stay high. But right now, he should be focused on getting the champ, uh, getting the title at 130. You know, Leo Santa Cruz is about to vacate his title. Um, you know, uh, who else is a title holder? Gary Russell's probably about to move up and vacate his title in a minute. So that's going to lose the Super WBA and WBC Open. The IBF is owned by Josh Warrington. The WBO is owned by... Uh, by um, Oscar Valdez, Oscar Valdez, and um, Carl Frampton, they looking to make that fight pretty soon. So, you know, if Kid Gallant can get beat Josh Warrington, which is a stretch in my opinion, and Frank Warren is able to have that type, of maybe they can do Kid Gallant versus Shakur Stevens. And I think Shakur Stevens gonna beat the hell out of Kid Gallant right now, in my opinion. But you know, he got to stay ambitious, stay clean, stay out of trouble. You know, get past the case he got going now. But I love to hear what Javante Tank Davis had to say. Obviously, they. Familiar to have a little beef over the internet a couple while a while ago. Abel was closed that, but they are pretty young, under twenty five, I believe. The majority of the guys that I named, and um, you know, Stevenson want to let him know. He said in his goal for two thousand nineteen, nineteen, 
is to let people at 26 and 130 know he coming and he coming to snatch their souls and snatch their honor, snatch their title. So that is what it is. That's what you want to hear. You know, you want a young, ambitious, ambitious guy. And, um, you know, at the, t at the rate he's going right now, he'd probably be better than Tank. I don't see Tank, you know, living the fighter's lifestyle, living clean. And, um, you know, doing the things I need to do. But things can change. If Steve's to stay focused, definitely catch Tank. It could be Tank down the line. But right now, I think it's a pipe dream. But it's Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, TheHellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellas, one box. you 18% off the history all natural products. And I'll link the interview in the description. Uh, check out the interview of AB Boxing News. Salute to him, man, putting in work. So go check him out. Subscribe to him. Got good interviews. And don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. You know, go ahead and check out that Hell Blaze as well, too. 100% all natural products. That website, promo code in the description. Best way to donate is to share the videos. But if you do want to donate, that link's in the description. But just share, share, share. Help spread the word about the channel, man. We talk more than boxers. Check out our playlist, NBA, NFL, music, entertainment, and much, much more. But it's your boy, CJ Goodfellow. Goodfellow Sports TV. One time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. We gone.